I've been doing this since 1986. So talk to me about uh, strains from the past that you can't find anymore. Skunk one. <laughs> True skunk one, the golf ball indica. Nobody has it anymore. That's that one. Um, the original Mendo Purple. Golf ball indica. It's gone. You saw the... Uh, you saw it coming out of Mendocino, Ukiah, um, that area, um, and it was just phenomenal, just absolutely phenomenal. Um, and it's gone. You know, it, it disappeared in the early 90s, both of those. Both of those did. You know, the camp raids were more effective than people think they were. You know? I mean, yeah, a lot of grows were left intact up there, but a lot of strains were lost. A lot. Yeah. By just attrition or by... Um, by both. By both. Crossbreeding the seeds, you know, pollination that people didn't really know where that pollen came from. You know, um... I mean, we had some great sticky weed in the late 80s, early 90s. And where, where were you growing in the late you 80s, know, early 90s? San Fernando Valley. Yeah. So, so talk about the SFB uh, OG. So I still have that strain. I've had it for 27 years, continuously cloned. But what, what's the history yeah. of it? What's the... So it actually came in through Point Magoo Naval Air Station in a backpack from those old Navy SEALs that were working in Afghanistan. That's where it came from. That's where it came from. And you got a cut. And I got a cut. I got a bag of seeds, you know, directly out of there. And, and what, what was, made that a standout? You know, cultivar. Purely a fact. It is the original PK, so SFV OG. Its original name was PK, you know, the pure Kush, you know, um, and that is the original FF SFV. Um, was just a pain in the ass to grow. It was like an ivy plant. It went everywhere. You know, it was just compared to like your Northern California indica plants that were nice and uniform and bushy and, you know, grew up like this. This thing, you switched it into, into flower, its initial stretch could be as much as two or three feet in 11, 12, 14 days. Like maintaining a light height on those was just like, wow, you know, um, super hard, you know, and and your bud structure was nowhere as close together as the indicas out of Northern California. You know, it would be like a bud and then a blank spot for eight or nine inches and another bud. And then it was like an ivy plant just going everywhere. So getting that plant to respond properly and get a tight bud structure was just really, really a tough, tough play. You know, it still is. And, oh yeah, oh yeah. What is your farm called? You know, so Mr. Nice Guy LLC is uh, is our farm in Santa Barbara. Okay. It's licensed. From Half Baked? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you need yeah. Dave Chappelle as a brand yeah. ambassador. Exactly, exactly, yeah.